Gold demand softened in the second quarter of 2022, down 8% year on year. But despite this weakness, strong ETF inflows witnessed during Q1 helped fuel an overall recovery in gold demand over H1, which was up 12% year on year. Gold ETFs were the main driver of this performance. A strong inflows in Q1 as a result of the Ukraine war and rampant inflation gave way to more modest outflows in Q2 as the gold price fell amid a backdrop of monetary tightening and a surging US dollar. Investment in gold bars and coins in Q2 reached the same level as Q2 last year. Growth in India, the Middle East and Turkey was offset by weakness in China. The country's strict zero COVID policy, which saw lockdowns imposed in several cities and regions for much of Q2, restricted access to retail outlets for many Chinese consumers. And despite pockets of growth, weaker Chinese demand also impacted global jewellery demand, along with surging inflation. While global jewellery demand has recovered from the worst of the COVID impact that we saw during 2022, it is yet to regain the typical quarterly averages that characterised the years preceding the pandemic. We continue to see strength in central bank demand. Q2 net buying was double that of Q1. Over the first six months, demand was propelled by significant purchases from Turkey, Egypt and Iraq, as well as more modest purchases from several regular central bank buyers. Looking ahead to the second half of the year, the macroeconomic outlook presents both opportunities and challenges for gold. Geopolitical risks and further economic weakness should support investment demand for gold as a safe haven. However, tighter financial conditions may weigh on consumer demand. To read the full GDT report and see all of our research and data, please visit goldhub.com.